Being the two founding partners, Mossack and Fonseca, at the center of the league as accessories to tax evasion. But the big question in this case is how much of what this firm was doing involved tax avoidance, which is legal, and how much involved tax evasion, which is criminal. Ed, let's discuss it. First of all, what a lot of people have been asking today, also sort of trying to piece apart this realm, is why Americans, we haven't seen any prominent Americans, we have seen Americans, but not prominent Americans involved in these leaks. What do we know about that? Yeah, that is an interesting question, and I think uh, it's something hopefully we'll get an answer for later. Uh, a lot of it revolves it right now in terms of speculation about bias. Uh, I don't. I think it's early days still, so I think it's a little bit early to talk about bias. But McClatchy, uh, an American uh, news organization or, or based here, says that no ma major American political fi figures were found implicated, and that only 200 American passports were involved in any way, shape, or form in the documents. My view basically is is that what we're seeing here really. Uh, a lot of it could revolve around the difference between tax avoidance and uh, tax evasion. You know, uh, people using every legal trick in the book mm. to actually uh, uh, get their taxes down, that's tax avoidance versus doing something actually illegal, which would be uh, tax evasion. Yeah, and let's be clear, I mean, it, you can't necessarily avoid paying taxes if you are an American citizen or a permanent resident and you and you go elsewhere or you set up something elsewhere. You can't just avoid taxes that way. That's right. I mean, there is an exclusion up to $100,000 of your income that you can claim, but really the only way, if you're a rich guy who's making millions of dollars to get away from the, the law Right. arm of the of the law the US law is to go ahead and renounce your citizenship basically and in fact a lot of people have been doing that right so this kind of explains why we may not have seen so many Americans because they, they can't really use a loophole anyway exactly um, all right back to the Panama Papers I mean if this is legal or some of this is legal the tax avoidance uh, then what exactly implies tax evasion? Yeah, so actually the U.S. government, the IRS, they have a list and, uh, that I prepared up here uh, of six things that you can look at. There's deliberately underreporting or emitting income, and that's a classic case of like a Swiss bank account. Uh, the U.S. has been cracking down on that with the Swiss. And this is the principal kind of evasion that you would probably expect to see here. There's keeping two sets of books and making false entries in those books. You can claim false or overstated deductions on your tax return in the U.S. You can claim personal exemptions that are actually, you can claim them as personal, but uh, you can claim them as business expenses. And then you can hide or transfer assets. Now, this is very much related to the first category. And also is definitely something that we'll see with people who are doing tax evasion here. And then there's also engaging in sham transactions, transactions that really are don't exist, that it facilitates the first and the fifth point, bullet point that I was talking mm. about. The, the other point to make here, Ed, is that maybe Americans don't need to necessarily go abroad to reduce their tax bill. I mean, there are plenty of tax havens right here in the U.S., and I know a lot of them are sort of getting more uh, more attention in right. the wake of these leaks. I mean, what can you tell us on that end? Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Bloomberg had an article in January about this uh, that just came out, uh, and, you know, uh, basically they showed that uh, Wyoming, uh, the U.S. is one of the biggest places, Wyoming is one of the places within the U.S. that, uh, that I'll talk about. Nevada and Wyoming were mentioned specifically in that article. Mossack Fonseca has dealings in, in Nevada, Wyoming, and Florida, they have awesome offices there. We spoke to Marina about what's going on in Florida just yesterday, but it was interesting. Uh, uh, I saw something uh, just uh, the other day about uh, Wyoming and Nevada, and here's an interesting uh, quote from Daniel Reeves, who's a consultant, uh, after retiring from the IRS where he helped create an offshore compliance program. He said, he told McClatchy, there is a quote, there's no question that the United States serves as one of the biggest tax havens in the world for people outside of the United States. So basically what's happening is people go to places like Wyoming and they create shell companies that have no revenue or actual business activity. And uh, th this, this is a budding storyline mm -hmm. that we're hearing about. People in Brazil, there's a, there's a story in Brazil that's popping up now where they went to Wyoming, set up these shell companies, 
and then uh, avoided tax in Brazil by buying real estate through these companies and the anonymity as a result of that they were able to use. Now the interesting bit is, you know, Wyoming, they've, they're losing lots of money in terms of their tax revenue uh, because of the mining sector. So this is a great place for them to increase tax revenue by getting more from abroad in this way, but it also uh, makes it a tax haven. Yeah, that, these are huge ways for them to reduce their tax bill. What other ways are, are out there? What other alternatives are there for uh, business people or, or just rich Americans? You know, uh, it's interesting that you, you here are the two principal ways that you could do it. You could defer your taxes by putting them in uh, shelters that that, ta uh, that uh, shelter your tax for a long period of mm -hmm. time, or you could go into lower tax brackets through things like capital gains tax or carried interest like Mitt Romney has done. Other than that, the best thing is to go to low tax states like Florida or Wyoming. If you look at David Tepper, Appaloosa Management, he just moved January the 1st of 2016 from high tax state, 42nd in the country, that is New Jersey, and he went to Florida, which is number 10 in mm. the country. By the way, number four in the country is Wyoming. And so what people will do is they'll go to places like that in order to avoid tax. Yeah, and that's this probably is, the biggest Of course. I mean, this is the new that. strategy. And you wonder if there's going to be some regulation at all on that front. Probably not, but you have to wonder. All right, Ed Harrison, thanks for that. We love hearing from you guys. Tweet at all of us, Edward NH, Bianca Bashini, Amira David, Edward NH, I forgot you. Remember, you can see.